everybody. Today I have a treat for you. This is, these are two of my boys and we're going to show you some hair routines on them today. What do you think about that? I'm the second S. Coley. Yes, you also have very curly hair just like mommy and right now your hair is all kind of straight and everything, right? Yes, I like it that way. Okay, and it's nice and frizzy. Because he hasn't been fixing it and he's been playing it and because messing around. I don't want to fix it. And Richard here, he has straight hair and it's starting to kind of flip out on the edges because it's nice and long. Go ahead and turn around for us real quick. Look at all this hair he's got. Look at how long this is. And he's actually already got some No Frizz 10 product in his hair today. He's using the shampoo mix in and it just made his hair so soft it couldn't stop touching it the other day. And it was so shiny. Today's the second day, right? Yes. His hair is still clean and still looking really nice. Lots of body and movement and everything. Very clean scalp and all that, right? And did it bubble up real nice for you? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do today is, oh, and this is Giovanni, by the way. Um, anyway, what we're going to do today is just a quick little refresh to help enhance the curl on him and to help give some hold on him so that his hair doesn't flop around and everything, all right? Remember to ask me any questions that you might have below and remember that this is part of the party. So as it is with um, everyone who is part of this party, uh, you're gonna get 10% off any orders you make this week uh, on my website. You need to use the um, discount code, which you can get if you're in the party. If you need an invite to the party, let me know. Just, you know, message me and let me know and I can send you the invite. Oh, and then if we get enough people in the party and enough retail sales that have accumulated all together this week, then I'm going to be able to do some raffles where people can win free product. So, as of right now, sorry, my kids are making a lot of noise. As of right now, um, we need to get probably some more people in the party to really get up to the... Um, the minimum so that I can be able to afford to give away free stuff, you know, how that goes. So share the videos and invite your friends and make sure you get that invite uh, from me by uh, messaging me personally. And then you guys can enjoy the discount as well as possibly some free stuff coming up here. While I'm waiting for my son to get his comb, I was just gonna show you my hair. Today I have it all brushed out and I had it up in a bun yesterday, so a lot of the curl has come out, but there's still a lot of vol uh, volume. There's a lot of shine, and it was just kind of straight, so I went ahead and used my orange hairspray to give a little bit of the curl here and a little bit of the hold. You can see it's got just a little bit of hold there. And let me show you the back. Nice and fluffy, nice and soft. And so that's my day two hair. Okay. You got your comb? Mm -hmm. All right, get up here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and spray his hair with a little bit of water first because he, he does have very thick hair. And of course, I don't wanna have to use too much product, right? All right, so I've got two pumps of the Essential Slip Priming Gel. And I'm just gonna start coating this through his hair. Go ahead and turn towards me, please. Okay. And he likes to part it on the side. We'll fix his part here in a minute, but we're gonna put one more product in this. All right, so that's nice and smooth and slippery. For someone who has straight hair that can't really handle too much moisture in their hair and they want a hard hold from a gel, they're going to need to use the simple hard hold flaxseed gel, not the moisturizing flaxseed gel. So this is a specialty item, okay? So I'm going to show you this. Um, as you can see, it has a little bit of color to it because I also add slippery elm to this. And this has a really nice scent. Want to smell it? Tell me what you think. Kind of a musk. What do you think? It's like mango and and uh, macadamia nut is what it is. Does that make sense? Kind of. You don't like it? What do you think? 
It kind of smells like hot, hot chocolate mix, but a little bit different. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to think of how to get this on his hair without it falling out of my hands and everything. I'm going to try and have him put it on his hair uh, on his own. So I think if you kind of lean over the sink, this might work. I'm going to pour it into your palm, and then you're going to rub your hands together. When you start turning it over to rub your hands, make sure you have your other hand there to catch any of it, and then you can begin to rub it. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Okay, put your hands straight because it's slippery, honey. Just about a quarter size. Start rubbing it together, okay? Get some on your fingertips. Close your fingertips. You need more? Okay, you got big hands. All right, don't lose it. Get it down on your fingertips too. Close your, close your hands. Okay, now start rubbing it through. Good, get, get in the middle. Right here in the middle. Ooh, that does smell good. Okay, let's give you a little bit more. Okay, so a couple handfuls. I want you to try and start it right inside here because you missed the middle. All right, and then flip it back to that part. Woohoo! Do you want to make your hair curly and scrunchy today and spiky? No. Because you can do that with a hard hold gel. No? You want it straight? Okay, let me comb your hair. Does it feel slippery? Ooh, it does. Get you a little Superman curl. I don't understand why I always one strand of hair like really. it goes on my forehead. Yeah, always happens. You probably already know to do this when you um, brush your boy's hair, obviously if they're a younger boy, but you can use a very fine tooth comb. This one is a medium tooth. If you have a fine tooth comb and instead of applying the comb perpendicular, you actually bring it flat to their head, it's going to make the hair lay down much uh, flatter, right? So then you won't get as much poof or volume. But for this kind of a style, you want it really slick, right? So then that's a little trick to help you. So you're gonna hold that comb nice and flat to the head. And you can kind of press the hair. Okay, I think that this is really absorbing into your hair. I, I have not done an analysis on Richard's hair yet, and uh, I really don't think I have, but I have a feeling he has high porosity hair because his hair seems to absorb everything in a different way than mine does. Let's put just a little more to coat real good, okay? Normally, I don't use this much. On my hair, I would use one handful on dry hair as a refresh. On fully wet hair that you're trying to really plaster down, I guess I could see why you would use a lot more. This really does smell good. Kind of an exotic musk smell. Why don't you go ahead and give a little turn. Ooh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Okay, I hope this dries well. I know your hair is long, and we probably could have put more product. We'll see if that was enough product. Now go play on your video games. <laughs> How are you guys enjoying the party? And did you already put your introduction below? Tell me what routines you're used to doing and whether or not they're working for you, what you want to change about your hair. Also, please subscribe. Joe Mommy! Video games. This little boy, we're going to make this curly, right? I want to be a curly. You're going to be curly today. No. <laughs> All right, that's just a little bit of moisture. It's not too much. Now we're gonna go ahead and use several pumps of the Essential Slip Gorgum Gel. Two pumps here. On Giovanni's hair, I'm gonna use a curving motion as I rake my fingers through. And this is gonna apply the product at the same time. 
and then it's going to bring the curl back with this curving motion. And I'm going to do this through the layers of his hair. Ow. Sorry, I forgot to detangle before I started going crazy, Ow. right? Okay. Ow. All right. Let's divide this here. And you can see how that's starting to curl up. You can go ahead and scrunch it or have him shake his head a little. Shake. Okay, that's enough. So you see how I curved it like that. Okay, come back. Another pump. And just start smoothing this through. This is going to give you that seaweed feel to your hair. You know how they say with curly hair that you need to make it feel like seaweed? Who here has actually felt seaweed before? Maybe you've gone to the beach and seen some of it come up on the beach, on the shore. I guess I've played with it before, but it never really felt slippery to me. I don't know, but that's what everyone says. You need to have seaweed here. So watch what I'm doing here. I'm running it between my fingers and just kind of pinching and sliding at the same time. This actually detangles the hair just by going like this. And just that little curving motion from the root down is going to give volume at the root. On a lot of your hair, especially children and everything, you tend to just run a comb straight through or you run your fingers straight down and it pulls the curls out. And so you wonder whether or not your kids have curly hair or if you have curly hair or um, why the roots are always straight on top compared to the rest that gets curlier down here and it's usually because of the way you comb your hair. So this will really help to bring back that curl for you. You can always use a tool if you want instead of just your hands, it's totally fine. If you do find a snarl, apply a little more product and then just really smooth it and then the snarl will pull right out. How was that? <laughs> We're going to have you flip your head around and scrunch it in a minute, but it's going to get that lift. You know how we do this. We always do this, huh? We've been much. making your hair curly since you were a baby. When Giovanni was a baby, his curls were actually quite a bit tighter, and they've straightened out a little bit now. They were so tight that they would be little spirals on top of his head, and you can see his scalp in between each one. And so now it's quite a bit loosened down, but that's all right. He didn't use to let people touch his hair because he loved it so much. And now he kind of prefers it a little bit straighter. That's just what happens when you get older, right? <laughs> you start worrying about what other people think. You realize you're the only person with big fluffy hair and then you feel a little strange, but it's actually something you gotta learn to appreciate, right? As you can see, he also has very thick hair. And so we're just going through all the sections, giving a little turn right there at the root to get that curl started. You can do this on any kind of a pixie haircut, right? You can just get those curls started right there. I have another liquid styler that can help to detangle your hair. It's actually called the Spritz Styler, and it is intent more it's intended more primarily for detangling and offering some moisture and a light hold. Um, this product today doesn't really have any actual moisture, you could say, because there's no oil or conditioners in it. But it does give you that slippery feel and it does give you some hold. Very smooth. Look at that. Really thick. Okay, not stringy at all. And looks golden now. It does. It adds shine. It really does. Very nice. Okay. My hair changes. Color. Ooh, look at that. Look at those little boingy boingies. Flip your head down for us and shake it. Whoa, whoa. Not that hard. Flip straight down. Make your head touch your knees. Straight down. Start at the top. Start at the top. 
This is hard for kids to understand, okay? You're gonna make the top of your head point towards the floor. Ready, set, go. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> oh you don't have to shake so hard. Oh. Okay, we didn't scrunch. Should we scrunch a little? Oh, you have nice thick clumps. Okay, not too bad. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I already said that. All right. So obviously that's gonna bring the curl back, but is it gonna keep the frizz down? And is it going to give them a nice cast while it's drying? And is it going to stay curly after we scrunch out the crunch? And when they go to bed. Now I will tell you that Giovanni's hair tends to go straight when we put product in it. And that's him, that's his thing. He's just got different hair, okay? So this product is very lightweight and it should do really well for him. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the flaxseed cream gel on it though because I said I would. Oh, come <laughs> we'll on. see what happens. Mm -hmm. Because I was looking real quick. Okay, we've got this a little bit here. That's a lot. You think it's a lot? Yeah. We're gonna do a light coating and then scrunch. Tiny bit more. Turn around, please. I like to go and kind of do this uh, breadcrumb technique where you rub the hair between your thumb and finger and it helps to kind of shrink up the curls and enhance the curl. With his hair the way that it tends to be on the straight side lately, that really helps, especially because I didn't get the hair fully wet and I'm doing this on him instead of my own hair. Sometimes it's a little tricky where I don't get the wrong tension or pressure and hurt him. So I can scrunch it up like that, kind of like I'm making breadcrumbs with dry toast. And then that brings that curl back. All right, Giovanni, you're done for now. And you gotta be careful and don't shake it around or rub it on the couch while it's drying, okay? Okay. I won't make you diffuse today. Okay, just pick me for a little bit. <laughs> you're too big. Okay, go play some more video games. <laughs> okay, so Richard's hair is not fully dry, but I want to show you what was happening. We haven't used this product on his hair before, so we weren't sure how much to use, and he does have a lot of hair. Go ahead and flip your hair forward so we can see what's happening. Okay, so we've got hard hold going on underneath right here. Turn real good. You can see how this part is still completely slicked back but some of it is falling. Also up underneath, but just a little bit is falling. So we got, we got almost the right amount of product. Um, same thing happening over here. We've got the hard hold here and a little bit of looseness with this. There's so much more hair up top, obviously. And remember when I started with this bottle, I may have only had about this much product in here. So, I mean, I really didn't use that much. So it's okay, we can use a little bit more. I still got some in here. There we go. But his hair is so shiny and it's very soft. Even as it's still damp, it's just shiny. It's really neat. And you know flaxseed gel is so good for your hair. So I start with my fingertips together and grab that and pull it up to my fingertips. And that way it's here where I need to apply it. This is like health food for your hair, right? Just a little bit more here. There we go. This really is supposed to get very hard. Normally, if I were to put this much on my hair, it would just be hard as a rock. <laughs> oh, that shine is so nice. Wow, that looks smooth. Uh, for the time of day that it is right now, it's actually bedtime. We ended up having to um, have a lot going on today and refilm and stuff a few different times to get the right footage for you guys. So um, he's gonna go ahead and have to sleep on this tonight, but I will make sure that I post the final results of his hair um, in the party comments, as well as in the YouTube community section on my channel. So you can go and look for the picture there if you're on YouTube.
Have a good night's sleep. Don't mess up your hair now. I know that might be tricky, but we'll see what happens. Well, I, I mastered the skill of levitation, don't worry. You've mastered the skill of levitation. Yeah. Oh, wow. Say that three times fast. I can levitate. <laughs> <laughs> three times. I can levitate, I can levitate. There, that was easier. <laughs> All right, go ahead. See you later. Okay. Get out of here. Wait. <laughs> you know, I did actually rub that into my hands and they don't feel sticky. I thought I'd done that before, but it actually feels good. Kind of softens your skin. Hello. Are you going to show you how crunchy it got, right? Mm -hmm. Got a little crunchy. And how cold it is. You can uh -huh. see. Okay, very good. Turn around. And it's still golden. Yes, it's nice and shiny and moisturized. Let's see how crunchy it is. Not really hard. Well, Just a little bit. So let's scrunch out the crunch, right? There wait, might be a wait, tiny wait, bit wait, of moisture wait. still in there, uh, dampness. Oh, I found a good one, Mom. Oh, okay. Let's show them. Look at that. Okay. It's really tough. Okay, shake a little. Okay. Put your head down and show us how you scrunch it. So this is how you scrunch it. You're going to have to go on the sides at the very back and then... Okay, so we can also go like this just a little bit so that we don't make it too messy. It feels moisturized too. Mm -hmm. it, it's not dried out. It definitely has a lot of moisture. But it did enhance the curl. It didn't go straight on us, so that's great. Sometimes, you know, you can go in and fluff it up even more. He doesn't really need it big, does he? All right. What do you think? Like mother, like son? No. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. Do you think people should buy my products? Is that good enough for my eight-year-old boy? Well, it doesn't matter about your style. It doesn't matter about your style? You don't think anyone needs to worry about their hair? It only... Is it just vain? It really, let, me tell you let me tell you a fun fact really quick, guys. Um, it, no, style doesn't matter. It just matters how nice you are or how mean you are. Style doesn't matter because style just makes you look good. But in the inside, are you really nice or mean? And some people don't let you play with them if you, if you look nice. But they're missing out that you are nice. Some people don't let you play with them if you don't look good to them, but the way you look doesn't really matter. No, it you're doesn't right. matter at all. Even if your hair was really messy, I would still love you. Yep. <laughs> good boy. Wow. I didn't know we were going to get that in there. Thanks. That's a fun fact. Fun facts. Thanks, Giovanni. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching today. That was really fun. Um, I always appreciate doing videos like that with my kids because I get to have some extra quality time with them that's just a different um, type of you know activity for us to do and to make memories here on my channel and everything so anyway I hope that helped you to see the way you use some of these products and how you might use them with your kids or you know all of that so thanks so much for watching I'll talk to you tomorrow bye